Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. The great question that has never been answered, and which I have not yet been able to answer, despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul, is what does a woman want? I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. The first human who hurled an insult instead of a stone was the founder of civilization. He that has eyes to see and ears to hear may convince himself that no mortal can keep a secret. If his lips are silent, he chatters with his fingertips, betrayal oozes out of him at every pore. I have found little that is good about human beings on the whole. In my experience most of them are trash, no matter whether they publicly subscribe to this or that ethical doctrine or to none at all. That is something that you cannot say aloud, or perhaps even think. Flowers are restful to look at. They have neither emotions nor conflicts. Love and work are the cornerstones of our humanness. The mind is like an iceberg, it floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. If a man has been his mother's undisputed darling he retains throughout life the triumphant feeling, the confidence in success, which not seldom brings actual success along with it. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy. The ego is not master in its own house. The voice of the intellect is a soft one, but it does not rest until it has gained a hearing. Whoever loves becomes humble. Those who love have, so to speak, pawned a part of their narcissism. The interpretation of dreams is the royal road to a knowledge of the unconscious activities of the mind. Every normal person, in fact, is only normal on the average. His ego approximates to that of the psychotic in some part or other and to a greater or lesser extent. The tendency to aggression is an innate, independent, instinctual disposition in man. It constitutes the powerful obstacle to culture. The goal towards which the pleasure principle impels us, of becoming happy, is not attainable, yet we may not, nay, cannot, give up the efforts to come nearer to realization of it by some means or other. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. Men are strong so long as they represent a strong idea they become powerless when they oppose it. Men are more moral than they think and far more immoral than they can imagine. 